Hi, this is Allie Consorla from the Virginia Beach Arts Center, and I'm here with a new instructor, David Hollander, uh, to talk about his upcoming class in the fall. Um, it's called Art History in Action, uh, which is a six-week studio painting class starting on, uh, it's on Sundays, September 13th through October 18th from 12 to 2. Good time slot for anybody to make this class. Good morning, Allie. Hey. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, I did want to mention first that you could find all our classes on artcentervb.org, um, including Dave's class, which is coming up in the fall. Okay, Dave, <laughs> that's quite an intriguing title. Tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing in this class. Sure. Um, I have found that art history and studio practices are very often, almost always, taught separately. This will be an integrated class uh, that will bring in historical references and talk a little bit about the development of Western art, um, and at the same time, put those ideas and techniques into practice during the class and over the course of six weeks. So we will move from primitive cave art up through the Renaissance into modern and contemporary art into uh, contemporary abstraction. Okay, give me just a little bit of the details in terms of what type of medium you would like students to uh, use, size of the canvas or type of paper they need to use, um, and any other just sure, all the, a little all bit the, of details. All the, all the practical matters. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with the basic uh, drawing tools, again referring back to uh, primitive art. So we'll start with uh, basic drawing skills, uh, learning line and shape with charcoal and if the artist, uh, the student prefers, we can use um, maybe red chalk as well and we can work on paper. Uh, from there we will use acrylic paints. I find that acrylics are very versatile and the quick drying time is conducive to uh, a 90 minute uh, work session. Uh, as we move through the, and as far as scale, I think 16 by 20 would be the largest. Um, certainly eight and a half by 11 paper works. Uh, it, um, students welcome to use uh, a canvas or uh, mixed media paper or canvas paper would work very nicely for the class. Um, and what, what type of what type of paintings will you be doing? So we will be doing um, most genres we will cover, still life, landscape, um, abstract, and figurative. Wow, that's, that's covering a lot of... Well, it's going to cover a lot of ground, yeah. and that may sound intimidating. I want to be very clear, it will not be. It will be fun, and it will be engaging and immersive. Um, and it will allow the student to come away with a new set of skills to stick into their paint box as they um, move through their own development. And, and you'll be able to help the students individually as well, is that correct? I mean, it's a, it's a small class where, you know, we're limited during COVID to five students, so. Absolutely, Allie. Uh, I think given the size of the class, uh, we can almost work on, we can work on individual assignments. I'm going to provide subject matter for each class, however, if there is an artist that would like to work on one project or maybe two paintings through the course of the class, um, I'm totally willing to work with that and again, help incorporate new ideas and new techniques into that painting. So, you know, anybody really with any type, any level of skills could take this course and be comfortable with that? Absolutely. Okay. A absolutely. We can, because we will start with basic drawing skills, we can start with a true beginner. Uh, if somebody is at a more intermediate level, uh, I can teach to that level as, as okay. well. So you mentioned to me before this um, interview that it's you're going to uh, be doing a still life, a landscape, an abstract, and abstract then a and figure figure drawing. Okay. Um, I want to take a look at your paintings. They're absolutely beautiful. I have to admit I've seen a few of these before. and. Uh, so yeah, some of these have been exhibited locally, and you know so you've, you've probably you've seen them in galleries. To, you and, went yeah. to art school. 
I did. Uh, both of my parents were artists. My grandmother was a freelance artist who worked from home. And um, uh, so I, I grew up with the visual arts as part of, as part of my household. Um, they were a little bit scared when I told them I wanted to go to art school. I don't think they had planned on that. Um, but I did. <laughs> and <laughs> much to their consternation, um, and, and I went to the uh, Otis Art Institute in Los Angeles uh, where I studied with uh, Sam Clayberger, uh, who was the illustrator for Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> and, um, I love that and show. Arnold, yeah, who, who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't right? but Sam was the lead animator. Um, and then I studied with Arnold Meshes, who was, um, well, who showed at PS1 at the Museum of Modern Art. Okay. and uh, uh, spent his life as an instructor. So I, I, I'm, in a group, I'm in two groups with Dave, um, Norfolk Drawing Group and another private group, and um, his skills are amazing. I, I, I'm, I'm always so thankful that I work with artists that are um, really very talented, and Dave is one of them, that's for sure. Uh, let me see what else I wanted to see. Um, you, I want you to talk a little bit about a few of your paintings. We have another sure. maybe two minutes to okay. talk. Um, the figure on the uh, far right uh, is actually a painting that kind of inspired this class. The figure itself is a, a detail of a Roman sculpture, a discus thrower. Um, and it also put me in mind of a quote by Titian, who said that if you can't make a decent painting using black, red, and white, you'll never paint anything at all. Um, this also incorporates some contemporary ideas, the expressive brush stroke, um, and so forth. So kind of incorporates all the, uh, all the ideas that this class is really about. Uh, the landscape, uh, well, the landscape is a landscape, but I would call it a contemporary landscape right, right. Um, with, say, references to uh, Cezanne and Vincent van Gogh. Um, well, we're at, uh, about finished with the interview. I do have a time limit because of some of the places that we're going to post this. But, um, wow. <laughs> I know this one here, we have about 30 seconds. This one here, you were saying that it re does reference something in art history? Yeah, so this is a detail from um, a painting by uh, Eugene Delacroix, Liberty Leading the People. And again, it's an example of how we can quote art history and maybe put it into a contemporary context, um, as well as learning a little bit about uh, the artistic skills. This is an acrylic painting, although the original was done in oils. This is an acrylic oh, painting and um, I think is testament to the uh, versatility of acrylics. Well, Dave, thank you so much for, for being here with me. I really <laughs> enjoyed pleasure. talking to you. I didn't, know, I didn't know as much as I do now about you, and I really hope that people are interested in taking your course, which is coming up in the fall, and uh, you just have to go to our website, artcentervb.org, to sign up. It's quite easy. and. Um, it's, it's going to be a very exciting course. So thanks so much, David. Well, no, thank you. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Okay.